Oh, I just realized I literally put this giant arcade game right next to our sleeping baby. <laughs> I am a horrible mother. This is why I should never be a mother. Can I just introduce you to Lottie? Oh my god, she is so cute! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of BitLife Controls My Sims Royal Edition. I am so excited for today's episode. We have a new Babalaroo, little Lottie, the Duchess, I should mention. So I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode. If you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our family here. And let's go ahead, you guys, and get to it. So, first things first, Madison is looking amazing. Can we just quickly say that? So in the last episode, we had this whole conundrum with is Victoria a royal or not? And a lot of you guys were like, no, she needs to be royal. And I'm like, I totally agree. I don't know how to make that happen. So then I was like, I wonder if I can just like force it. So <laughs> I'm gonna try today. I don't know if we can, if we can or not, but we're gonna see what BitLife will let us do. But currently, uh, the only official royal, according to BitLife, is little Lottie here. She was born in the last episode, and she's so cute. Hello, little object. You are so cute. <laughs> but we should probably send everybody to sleep because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. I will do um, this little cutie's room in the morning, so I'm just going to let him slip. Slip? I let him sleep in the spare room. So we left off at age 30 um, in BitLife. It says, I was added to BitLife's bit list of the top 100 youngest stars on the rise. Damn right. I gave birth to a baby girl named Lottie Attenborough, the Duchess of Normanby. I supported a new law to ban improper fractions. And we also unveiled a plaque in the park at Sheffield. And of course, we worked out. Now, our smarts have gone down a little bit and our respect has gone down a little bit, but we do have a new heirloom. Finally. Wow. Okay, so we got a roadmap of the United States. Well, that could be interesting considering we live in the United Kingdom. So we should go ahead and spend time with all of our friends and family since we haven't for a while. Good times, you invested in nine relationships. So with Harrison, we went to Walmart uh, and did some people watching. My father took me to do a puzzle at the library. Me and my mother went flower picking. Me and Victoria danced in the rain. Roland and I went and got henna tattoos and me and Lottie took a t <laughs> Me and my daughter, Duchess Lottie, one years old, uh, took a self-defense class at the police station. Wow. <laughs> so everything seems to be doing good. So I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and I'm going to age her up one more year. Lucas Matthews, your friend Lucas wants to become best friends with you. You are already best friends with Jade. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the status quo. My daughter Victoria started secondary school. My friend Lucas wanted to become best friends. Wow, we are boring. So while they're sleeping, let's go ahead and check in on our royal life. We'll do public service. You attended the unveiling event and first service at a new house of worship worship in Sheffield. Oh, that was nice of us. And let's do some law review. Offer your support for a new law. Ban the movie Jack and Jill. Oh no, I love Jack and Jill. Anything Adam and Adam Sandler does makes me happy. So I think since we're royal, we should try to do some celebrity stuff now that we're, you know, we're a little bit older. We've got our life under control. So it says here, celebrity, invite a celebrity to hang out with you today. Margot Robbie. I feel like that is totally someone that uh, Madison would hang out with. Uh, they could go hot air balloon ride. They could do a board game. Video games. There we go. Invite them. You played video games with Margot Robbie. Your enjoyment wasn't great. Her enjoyment was amazing because she got to hang out with a queen while well, she's still technically a princess. Okay, so we are going to have the kids get ready for school and then we are gonna invite over Margot Robbie. Um, and we also have to renovate this little guy's room. So I'm gonna go quickly renovate um, Roland's bedroom. Alrighty, you guys, so I 
loved how I love so much how Roland's bedroom turned out so first things first I got him an Avengers carpet and I couldn't pick which design I wanted and I was like I need all of them so we've got the four dudes there and then over here he's got like a cool like comic book mirror and he's got his dresser and he's got his teddy bear then over here he's got like his computer gaming setup and homework area he's still got a couple toys in here then he's got this big comfy bed and on the walls he's got like really awesome Iron Man and Gotham posters and then over here I gave him like a little reading slash TV nook so he's probably not gonna be getting a lot of homework done let's be honest but I love it I think it turned out so cool so I hope you guys like it um, I think he is going to love it so let's go ahead and assign right bed to Roland. Also, I gave her like this huge diamond ring for on her wedding finger. I love it. It's so cool. She is so neat. So Victoria's going to come over and talk to her mom just because she's so lonely. So I'm going to go ahead under relationships and we'll go Victoria and we will do conversation. You and your daughter Victoria discuss which instrument is the best. Oh so Victoria must be getting interested in music so we should get her in her room where's Victoria's room this house is way too big here it is I think we should go ahead and buy her one of the kid violins I think she would love that so I think they only have the violin for kids right they've got the true prodigy and amateurs hour okay we'll start with that and use a little pink one for her there, she can look in the mirror while she plays the, the violin. So when she gets home from school, we will definitely get uh, Victoria to start learning some violin. Okay, so is she feeling better? Yeah, she is. So she's gonna go get herself some breakfast. Roland is hungry. I know you wanna talk to your mom, but honey, you gotta eat before you go to school, little guy. So Madison, while everyone is away, we'll take care of the baby, but we'll also invite over, who did we have? Oh, Margot Robbie. So we'll have to go on to the gallery um, and find one. So after everyone's gone to school, we will take care of that. Harrison, you stink. Please take a shower before you go to work. Not that you really need a promotion or a job. Alrighty, you guys. So I found this Margot Robbie from Alex Gal 10. And I think that she's really, I feel like this creator has really captured her face. So I'm gonna merge her in with the family just so we can have her hang out. Oh yeah, she looks so much like Margot. What an amazing job. Okay, so she's got like gray eyes. I'm just gonna add some CC onto her just so she kind of fits the vibe. All right, you guys, so I have no clue how Margot Robbie dresses, <laughs> um, but I just added some clothing on her and some CC just to make her fit in a little bit with my style of characters. But I think that this sim looks so much like Margot Robbie, so let's go ahead and get Madison to play some video games. <laughs> Okay, so I've just added her to the family, so I don't have to worry about her leaving. <laughs> she looks so cute, you guys. So uh, we can send Matt, uh, we're sending Harrison to work. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase one of those gaming consoles for Madison and Margot Robbie to play. So that one's only 400. I thought there was a more expensive one here, 800. There we go. So we've got the video games. And what other one do we have? We Here, let's just buy an arcade. It's not like we can't afford it. And then we can play arcades with Margot. Trust Madison to turn like a really fancy palace into just like her own playground. <laughs> I'll just put it in front of this here and we'll put this couch in our inventory for now just so the girls can get there. Um, and what else does she have? I mean, if I'm mingling with the stars and playing video games, I mean, I'm like full blown playing video games, not just like, oh, you wanna like play some PlayStation? No, like we're doing full blown. I guess we'll have to put the other one here because there's not really a lot of room. Okay, so we've gone full blown for our video game day with Margot Robbie. Um, excuse me, you're a princess. Can you stop shoveling snow? Thank you. Come over here. And technically, because I added her to the family, they're both, um, Harrison's like, what, are, why are you here? <laughs> 
and let's go ahead and for starters let's go play the arcade game with margo <laughs> oh i just realized i literally put this giant arcade game right next to our sleeping baby <laughs> i am a horrible mother this is why i should never be a mother i'm like yeah it looks like a great place i didn't even notice lottie there didn't even cross my mind Okay, so her and Margot Robbie are playing on the little arcade game first. I can't tell. I, I mean, we're the little pink one. Look at us go. Oh, we look really happy. We are feeling super focused. Someone's trying to call Margot. Not now. I'm hanging out with a princess. It's funny because I feel like the celebrities, their celebrities are like royal family and like polit political figures. Like... For us, like, regular celebrities are like, wow, and then for the celebrities, it's like, oh, I got to hang out with the Prince of Wales, you know? Um, okay, so it looks like they're both kind of bored of that, so let's get them to come over here now and play a multiplayer game with Margot. And Butler, could you please cook a uh, assigned task? Uh, cook a family meal. They're having so much fun. I was thinking about this. I just noticed like we have a hundred million dollars in the bank. We should like go shopping. Maybe we should buy, let's buy a boat. I'm gonna buy a, a cruising yacht. I wanna buy like the most expensive yacht. Let's get a sailing yacht, denied. Oh my gosh, okay, I need to, <gasps> boating license, okay, so I tried to buy a yacht and they said, no, you don't have a license, there's also a random man playing video games with me and Margot Robbie, not really sure what's going on with that, my child is crying, I'm trying to buy a yacht, people, okay, so let's get her to go quickly change the dirty diaper while I take the test. <laughs> boating test, what is the name of this side of the boat? The stern. I'm ready! You passed your boating test! Oh yeah. Okay, so now we can go buy a boat. We should probably buy a new car too. That's pretty cool. Sheffield Marine. Okay, we're gonna buy this six million dollar sailing yacht. Sail this stylish yacht in comfort and ease. Um, buy it with cash. Cha-ching! You are now the owner of a sailing yacht. Yeah, we are. We are going to name it... Uh, oh. I don't want to name it Peer Pressure. Let me see if I can rename it. Darn it, I was going to name her. Oh, well. Well, we've got a boat. Let's take it on a ride. I got a good tan going. You took your sailing yacht, Peer Pressure, out for a ride. <laughs> I was going to name it after myself. Oh, well. Okay, so now that we're done that, me and Margot should come over here and play Blick Block together. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And we should also just abandon our car. Like, whatever. We abandoned it. Left for junk. Um, let's go buy a new car. Go shopping. Lily, Sheffield sounds fancier. I want a Ferrari. No, I don't want used. I want new. Look at this. Either I get a used Ferrari or a new Volvo. <laughs> what if we go to Lily's Auto? New Coupe. Um, none of that is what I want. All right, I guess we're going to buy a used Ferrari. Buy it with cash. She's all mine. You're now the owner of a two-year-old white Ferrari. I feel like that's not too bad. You know what I mean? I feel good that we spent some money. Oh, let's also maybe buy some new jewelry. Um, there was something I, I wanted to get her the diamond pendant last time I was uh, shopping for uh, what's his name <laughs> our husband Harrison um, Let's buy it Iced up there we go. So now that we've spent some of our hard-earned money. We've played video games with Margo So where are you Margo? Um, I'm just gonna get you to not be here. So just go ahead and say thanks for coming. I had so much fun and say goodbye to her and then we're gonna kick her out of the family because we've had our day of playing video games and we don't really care anymore so you know what it's not me it's you you're just not that great at playing video games so i just don't think you can hang out at my house anymore it's been fun 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure Margo was great. Bye! Our kiddos are home from school. Victoria is eating some French toast. After you're done that, she needs some fun. So I'll let her, um, well, you can come over and play some of the arcade games. Why not? You can play some with Roland. That'll make both of you guys feel super happy, I think. Cuties. Okay, so now that we've had a good life, we've spent some money, let's go ahead and age up another year. Hook up Archie Dumpton. A man named Archie asks you to pinch his butt because he feels like he must be dreaming. What will you do? No, I'm a faithful wife. Can you believe someone tried to hook up with us? 32. Nothing happened except a random guy trying to sleep with us. What else is new? Have you seen Madison? She's gorgeous. Little Lottie, you are so cute. Okay, so how is our... Our respect has gone down. Our smarts and our happiness have gone down. Okay, our health is great though. So let's go ahead and do activities. Mind and body, you need to read a book. Is there one that's not really big? I feel like all of these are gonna be a lot of pages. Oh, 277 is not bad. Okay, so when she wakes up in the morning, I'll make sure she reads this book. Why are you sad? New sibling. Aw, Roland. It's okay. When dad gets home, he's gonna make sure you know that you're loved. There! Oh, yeah. A real page turner. You read all 277 pages of The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. We did not really enjoy it. But our smarts are back up. Our looks. Okay, what do we need to do for looks? I think if I have her work out... Mind and body, and go to the gym. Pure gains. Okay, so. <gasps> Scaling skin. Madison would never. While putting on a swimsuit, you notice someone scale some scaling on your skin. You've also discovered a number of weird red spots on your body. <gasps> go to the doctor right away. Doctor with. Ooh, we're gonna go see Dr. Henderson. Way better reputation. Diagnosis with ringworm. Select a treatment today. Treat me right now. Oh my gosh. High hopes, cure. No longer suffering from ringworm. Oh my gosh, that gave me a heart attack. So I'm gonna get Madison to come into their library and I'm gonna have her read. So I'm getting her to catch up on her reading because she read a book and then I have to get her to work out at the gym. Okay, so she just finished reading. I'm gonna have her post on Simstagram and check her social media timeline because um, with her being famous, she did hang out with Margot Robbie. So I feel like she would probably post about it. She would probably like share a picture of it. Yeah, so she just took a picture, cute image. Okay, she would definitely have way more than 12 people like that photo, let's be honest. Let's have her add another Simstagram story. And then she does have to go pee. So she's updating her socials right now, making sure that everybody knows that she is still famous. Uh, so we'll get her to come do some running. She actually wants to do a dance workout, so I'll have her do a little bit of everything. And she's in her new workout outfit looking great. I think this, oh, 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 come on. You can run better than that. You run every day of your life. There, so she is watching some TV and doing her workout. Perfect. So I'm gonna get her to go ahead and we will age her up one more year. Stalker, a fan has been posting pictures of you on social media from every location you've been this week. Call the police. The police arrived and warned you for wasting their time. Are you FS? <laughs> well, what else are you supposed to do? All right, well, my happiness went down big time because of that. Oh, because I'm scared about a stalker. Let's go. Oh, no. I do not want to find someone to love. How's things with me and Harrison? Let's give him a compliment. We told him he's a genius. Did our relationship go back up? Oh, yeah. We're killing it. Um, we'll spend some time. Oh, we went kayaking. That would be fun. Um, and I'm going to have her spend time with everyone. 
Uh, there we go. So our happiness is back up to 100% after we spent time with everyone. Okay, and it looks like little Duchess Lottie is three years old. She's no longer a little babalaroo. She's a little toddler. So I'm gonna go under edit her just to see what color of hair she has. I'm sure it's probably red. Uh, hair. Yeah, she's got light. Oh, it's not quite red. So she's got brown eyes and like really light browny red hair. Okay. And Madison just wiped out hard on that. So we're 33 years old. We're going to let little Lottie become a little toddler. Madison, I'm so done with you doing that workout. How about you come over here and do some meditation? That'll make you feel better. There, so now she's doing her meditation. Oh, she's looking good, looking good. So her health and happiness is good. No. Oh, look, our unknown stalker. I saw what you did last week. I was there and I saw everything. So now our stalker is not only bugging Madison, but our children. Hang up, Roland. Hey, wait, don't you want to? See, we've got these stalkers because of the fact that our kids are so famous. We're gonna have to start getting some bodyguards, you guys. Like, seriously, like, what else are we to do? Scary, scary times. Maybe Madison should consider thinking about not, um, I'm gonna get Victoria to come out here and play pirate, and I'm gonna get her brother to join her. I think she needs to maybe start thinking a little bit more about how much she posts on social media and shares. Uh, I need you to change into your cold weather outfit, please, sweetie. Here you go. What the heck? Aw, look at him playing on the slide, little cutie. Okay, let's go dress her, and you need your cold weather outfit too. Oh my gosh, look how cute Roland is. He is so sweet. Look at them. Okay, so they're hanging out together. No, don't go eat. Go join your sister and play pirate with her. Um, Madison has acquired the wellness skill, so that's good. She's still doing her thing. She really wants to kiss Harrison. That's adorable, but now you need to go age up your daughter so we can give her a makeover. I'm going to delete this arcade after because this thing's really annoying. Aw, Robert Prince has sent Duchess Lottie a gift, aged up. Okay, Oh, look, she got independent, yeah! Well, she is a queen. She got the blonde hair. It would have been our first blonde haired baby, you guys, because we finally got Harrison's jeans. And if you go under hair, it's like a light browny red. So we could make it blonde. I can change it in the app. So I think that would be really fun. Actually, I'm gonna do it. So I'm actually gonna edit her appearance because we have two redheads. I think it would be really nice to have a blonde in the family. And because I have God mode, I can edit her appearance. So I am gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna edit her looks to like blonde. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. So I edited her to have blonde hair, you guys, because I want some variety and I want Harrison to shine through and go modifying casts. Okay, I'm so excited. I don't know what type of hair she has because she's wearing a crown. And also, Victoria's hair's changed a little, so I wanna get her little bows with her little bun buns. We can try to give them up top, too. There we go. There's little Lottie. She does have brown eyes, so I'll make sure she gets the brown. There she goes, and she's got blonde hair. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna give Lottie her little makeover. Okay, you guys, so I think I am officially in love. I know we were all Victoria is the princess, and you guys might still feel that way, and I kinda still do, but can I just introduce you to Lottie? Oh my god, she is so cute! Like, you gotta admit, she's really cute. Okay, so anyways, this is her everyday look. I just got mad girly girl vibes, so I just went like hot pink and pink for everything. So there's her everyday look. Here is her formal, oh my gosh, you gotta admit, she's adorable. Um, then we've got her little sleepwear, her little diaper bum, so cute. Party wear with a little cat. I feel like we need to get a cat now for her. Um, her little swimwear. 
hot weather so cute and her cold weather oh my gosh her hat gives her a couple black streaks but it's not bad enough that i felt like we had to change the hat because i feel like it really adds to the look of her cold weather look so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think i think she is literally the cutest thing on planet earth i am so obsessed with her but in other news we still have a beautiful victoria now she did get glasses um, I'm probably gonna go try to download some more glasses for kids because I was pretty limited about what I had and the ones that I do have takes her eyelashes off so that was a little frustrating for me so here she is she now has little bun buns at the top I have no bows for her little bun buns but I gave her the bun buns up top and I gave her the glasses and this is her formal look like I said I'm gonna maybe have to get her some different glasses but she's so cute. I think she looks so classy with her glasses though. And Roland still looks the same, just being adorable as he does. Oh, so there's our cute family, you guys. So let's go ahead and jump back in the game. Alrighty, so dad just got home. The kids are gonna go back inside. They obviously have been playing for a while. Now, where is, oh my gosh, can we just please just, oh, she's so cute, look at that big smile. Oh, I just love her so much. Roland was kind of sad about having a sister, so maybe let's get him to get to know her. That way he can maybe feel less bad about the fact that he's got a sister there. So now he's getting to know her. Victoria, please come over here and get to know your sister. So I'm gonna be curious to see how, as they get older, how the relationship between Lottie and Victoria is because, you know, there might be that tension because unless I figure out a way, either someone commented on my video recently that it might be a glitch because when their main um, character died, the the youngest or the oldest born did become the queen automatically, even though they didn't have the title. So um, it could be a glitch and Victoria gets it. So I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time you guys, I'm gonna say bye for now.